So, it's kind of a, a dreary day today here in Mississippi, but we are uh, still got to do what we got to do. Uh, can't take no days off just because of the rain. Uh, can't be afraid of that rain, though. So, anyway, so we got a question uh, that I'd like to ask today. Um, I'm not really sure totally yet how we're going to go with this YouTube channel. Um, what kind of videos we're going to be doing, what y'all like me putting out. We're not, I'm not sure about all that yet, but for now, I told y'all we'd try to put a video out every week, and I want to stick to that. So, even if I'm just out here rambling, I'm going to try to put something out. Because, for me, I just, I like a good, uh, I like to strive for something. I always like to be pushing myself in a certain direction. Uh, pushing myself to, to do, be consistent in different things. And that's what I've been learning of late um, that God's been teaching me over the last few months is to be consistent, to be faithful in what you're doing. When you're being a warrior for the gospel of Jesus Christ, when you're being a, a, an ambassador for Christ, when you're sharing the gospel, whatever you're doing, being faithful in what he's called you to do and to, to be faithful in that. And so that's something that's really been, I've really been, God's been pushing on my heart to do. And so we'll talk about that a little bit today, but for now, we got to get up here, get to the gym, get us a quick workout in, and then we got to go take care of some business uh, over here in uh, the GT area. So, well, good night. It is raining out here. This weather has not gotten any better. Okay, so we are here at the gym. About to get in there, but it's rain out here. It's insane. It's blowing really hard. It's got some crazy wind out there. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I do have a poncho back here in the back um, because I just went uh -oh, to Houston and I needed a poncho, so I have a poncho. Um, but I don't have an umbrella. I might just make a run for it. We'll see. This is some crazy weather, though, that I was not expecting. I'll probably just see y'all inside after we uh, get inside. I'm not going to try to get this camera out here in the rain. All right. All right, so we made it in here. Drop off my stuff in my wall. Stick that up in there. Who's up in there?
got to start out <clears throat> with stretching. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I the battery just went dead on my com, my uh, camera while I was in there, so I wasn't able to capture everything. But um, so uh, we didn't, like I said, I, I I didn't do a workout today. I just went and did some uh, some of my basketball drills. 
that I like doing. I like shooting hoops sometimes, for, give myself a break, just get some exercise in. And so that's what I did today. And I just want to share with y'all something. So, I mean, when I was about 10 years old, I started, or uh, no, about seven or eight years old, I started learning how to play basketball because of my brother. And, and I just fell in love with it because uh, the thing was you could, you could go play by yourself. You could do it by yourself as long as you had a goal and a basketball. And so I'll come back and tell you about that in a second. But um, uh, I just kept playing basketball, trying to get better and better, doing it more and more. And, and uh, long story short, I, I, I started to get really good. And, and I chased that for a while before, uh, before God brought me low in life at one point and um, I finally realized I had almost let it become like an idol to me and so uh, and any of the sports I, I all I all I lived for was the next practice the next game the next shot whatever it was that's all I lived for and, it, and I came to realize how much I was living after the world and following things of the world um, and then God saved me uh, soon after that so with basketball um, I found that it's just it reminds me of, of things and I'm able to apply it to like my life and my, my walk with Christ. And so I found basketball, the more I played it, the more I, I started learning how to play it and playing the game more, uh, being able to apply it to my life and my walk with Jesus and salvation in so many different ways. And the way I saw it was, well, without the ball, I mean, you can't play the game. You're not in the game. Without the ball, you can't have a game. And um, without the goal, you can't have the game either. But without the goal, well, there's nothing to there's nothing to chase after. There's nothing to go for. I mean, there's nothing. It's nothing like that. There's nothing there. So, without the without the goal, you're you're going nowhere. Uh, you, you, there's no reason to even be playing. And so, Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die, and after this, the judgment. And um, and in Romans six twenty three it says the wages of our sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And um, um, that's why, like, if you read John 3:16, everybody knows that verse. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. So the goal is that everlasting life. So what's the ball? And for me, the ball was Jesus. Uh, we can be in this life, and we can try to get to heaven all we want to. We can try to go to heaven all we want to. Or you got some people that just are heading straight for hell, and they just keep following that direction. And without the ball, without Jesus, we're, we're heading the wrong direction. We're not even going to get the goal. We're not going to get to heaven. We can try all we want to, but until we have the ball, we can't make that shot. And so the ball is Jesus Christ. And if we believe on him, we'll have everlasting life. And so that was just very, uh, very cool to me, the way God started to show it to me through, uh, through sports like that. Um, and um, something I learned from my basketball coach um, is whatever sport you're playing, whatever you're doing, and he always put it in us. He said it was always about what can we apply this game to in our lives. After every practice, he would always he would always say, "What did you learn today?" And then he and then he'd say, "Now, how can we apply that to our li our spiritual lives and what God has called us to do?" And I so respect him for that, and I'm so thankful that he did that, and it changed my life in a lot of different ways. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hey, I know this wasn't the coolest video, probably not the most exciting and fun to watch, but hey, um, we're just starting. Things are going to get better. I promise you we're going to get some better uh, content out here. Um, I hope this was encouraging because that's the most important thing uh, of this channel is to encourage the believers to go out and be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. And so uh, that's that's the goal, guys. So I hope it was encouraging to you. We're gonna we're gonna uh, have some more stuff uh, coming up. I think next week we're gonna have a, a song, some music for you guys. So be looking out for that. And I want to tell y'all big announcement. Okay, let check this out. Okay, we're gonna try to have videos out every single Saturday. Okay, every Saturday is when we're gonna post the videos. Okay, Lord willing, that's what we're gonna shoot for. Uh, as long as as long as He's given us the ability to get it done, um, we're gonna try to have a video out there. All right, guys, I want y'all to have a great day. I'm going to get to work. Uh, Y'all get to work. Go do some good stuff. Okay? Y'all have a great day. Go like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Okay? And be a faithful warrior fighting the good fight of faith every single day, guys. Get in the Word of God and let the Word of God sink into your lives and let it transform you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Bang!